Hello everyone, uh, today we are going uh, to talk about how to report a bug, uh, bug on frontend properly. And uh, I will show you one tool that uh, I think can be very useful. So, for example, we have uh, some site, right? So here is our React Starter application. Uh, and uh, let's uh, do next. First, uh, you see that we are in our DevTools in Chrome. Let's just restart this page. And uh, we see that, of course, we have here a lot of information, uh, what uh, file is uh, we're requesting, uh, what status is, etc. And if you see some error, uh, what you can do, you could uh, just put the error message yeah, uh, to any developers, to any other developers, I mean, or you can make a screenshot, but it's not uh, work very good and what we can do alternatively is we can create archive of all the with all this information so to do this uh, first you need to be in Chrome or in Firefox you need to have your dev tools open um, and uh, then we are clicking uh, by uh, uh, right we, we, we click uh, yeah on mouse and we see here save as H E R har with content. So actually this har, this is archive of HTTP request, right? And we can save, uh, save it. And uh, we can share uh, these files with another developers here, yeah, etc. Uh, alternatively, uh, we just can grab uh, the content like um, Wait, copy all as a, as har. So in this case, all har information is in uh, our buffer. Uh, so actually, uh, as I understand, this is just a simple JSON format. Uh, but the second part of it, uh, when you share this information on just on just save it for yourself, you need to analyze it. So of course, you already uh, close uh, any site uh, and. Uh, to read this uh, file, you need a uh, viewer, yeah, uh, har viewer. I found two, this Chrome har and this one. I uh, by I watched the video with this Chrome har and it looks very nice, but looks like this is very old project and it is, uh, um, well, it doesn't work already. Uh, so what we have now is just this uh, project. So what we need to do, we just could drop here the file or we could uh, um, copy parts here the content uh, that we saved, yes, when I did save uh, as harvest content. So I copy here all this information and click on preview. And you see that here I have all uh, information about HTTP request. Yes, all with all what we have here. So I can see. Uh I can see a lot. I can see header. I can see a response uh, from the server, etc. So, for example, let's uh, do next. Let's go to our robots page and let's try to create one robot. Um, I don't know, money and uh, time, date and manufacture. So uh, you see that we got uh, here some Ajax request and uh, now let's do next. Let's also uh, copy is this file, uh, this hard information, clear this. And you see that we even have here all our Ajax, Ajax request. Yes, so it's very, very helpful and uh, yeah, you can see what the answer from server was. I mean, it it just it just the treasure I think for every for every developer and QAs. Uh, and to the there's another thing what I want to say is that there is a Chrome extension uh, for um, for this um, for this tool. And I think it's better to use it. It's best. I actually I'm not uh, sure how safety to use uh, web app. Uh, from my point of view, um, this extension for uh, Chrome, it will be safer, <laughs> I think. Uh, so yes, this is it. And I also will have some very useful links um, 
below the video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.